I'm a, I'm a recent graduate and I write essays for an essay writing service. The way the company gets around it is um, saying that they're advisory essays as opposed to essays that you should submit to your university. If anyone is genuinely thinking that these are advisory essays, it's probably a bit naive. I don't know the student, I have no contact with the student themselves, um, they just submit their essay title and some uh, requirements that they want, references etc and I, I just write the essay uh, and then send it back off. This is the website, um, I get an email from the company um, every now and then saying that you know, these essays are available. Uh, I go onto the website uh, and I'll click, click the button for available work and it comes up with just this list of um, essays that I'm qualified to write. One brief uh, that I did recently uh, was a 3,000 word essay due in for the next day and that was worth about £350, um, so that was a big payday for me. You have to question why these students feel the need to go and buy their essays. What makes them feel so much pressure to succeed that they have to go and literally you know, purchase parts of their uh, degree? It's the system itself that is flawed. Having students that you know, rack up five, maybe even six figures of, of debt, um, essentially it requires them to, su to succeed. Uh, they can't fail. And so that is why they, 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 they turn to services like this. A lot of friends of mine said um, and admitted to having paid for an essay in the past. So it, it is, yeah, it's a taboo subject, I think. People do do it a lot. I had taken a trip down to London for the weekend. On my laptop, I had about three essays. Sort of that night, stopped off, had a drink at a pub, suddenly realised my laptop was no longer on me. I hadn't backed it up. General university policy is that you don't get granted extensions. Obviously, I was angry, upset. My crisis management was awful and I went into panic mode and did what I really shouldn't have done. My first thought was immediately to pay for an essay. I paid £130 for a first class standard essay. I received the essay back and then within a couple of days a number of emails start flooding into my inbox asking for extra costs, I could immediately sense that the whole thing was a bit of a scam. I was asked to pay 70 for a plagiarism check, and then if I didn't pay that within an hour, they would suddenly tell, they would tell me that it was now, the price had now gone up to 200, so I was getting blackmailed. Initially, I, I refused to pay for anything that they asked. They would tell me that they'd post the essay online so that once I'd handed it in, which I already had, it would show up as 100% plagiarised through the university plagiarism checker. If it had failed the check, I knew my position at the university would be at stake. Stress levels were increasing rapidly. Obviously, I had other work in at the same time. This probably eventually got up to about £400 that I had paid, as opposed to the initial 130 that was promised. I, I paid a final amount and told them in the email that I'm blocking them and this is the last they'll hear from me. Uh, and this just eventually led to them sending my essay directly to the university. I receive an email from the university in big capital letters saying urgent, meeting required, essay plagiarism. The actual blackmailing sort of provokes a lot of emotions. I 
because I was obviously slightly embarrassed at the same time, which meant I didn't want to talk to other people about it. Sort of one of those things you assume would never actually happen to you. I, I've learned from my mistakes, <laughs> I'd hope, I'd like to hope. Um, I think there's a big taboo behind people actually admitting to using these websites or using other people to write their essays. I would strongly recommend not doing it. Of course, it's a terrible mistake on my behalf.